Roland sees more movies uh, yes. than anyone alive. How many movies did you see this year, Roland? Uh, almost, almost every one. Almost every, <laughs> almost, almost every almost. movie that's ever been made. Oh, not this year, though. I see pretty much all of them. I thought he was going to say close to 100, but no, his answer is almost every one. Name one movie you didn't see this uh, year. Uh, I'm seeing I Am Legend tomorrow, and mm. I haven't seen that yet. Why aren't we seeing I Am Legend tomorrow? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, well, I don't it's, know. It's get get night. yourself a ticket. I... It's tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Yeah. Oh, at night? At night. Oh, all right. well, that's, that, why. that's why I didn't. Well, all right. No, oh, yeah. Now you and who, can, who can go? I, I want to, like. Yeah, who gets to go? Uh, celebrities and people. How do you get to go? Um, I don't know. I got invited. All right, listen. Because of this show? No. Oh, okay. Because of what? Red carpet. Yeah. You do red carpet. Yeah. Do people go, Mr. DeLuise, Mr. DeLuise? No. <laughs> <laughs> Roland, mm -hmm. how many, so you've seen every movie? Almost. <laughs> every major movie that comes out you see. How many movies do you see a week? Probably four or five. Oh. A week? A week. Because part of the job, yeah. That's part sad. of the job. So with well, you see it. the job of being a lonely man. That's so, <laughs> so sad. Yeah, him, what are you hiding, man? Him and his helium balloon <laughs> that he just sucks on <laughs> as he's watching the movie. <laughs> What are you hiding that you have to see four or five movies a week? He's sad. He's a sad you're, you're sad. Yeah, you're looking for someone. Someone. Do you go with people or no. just alone? Um, depends. If my friends they want to see the movie, they can. Everybody invite. Do you have to pay for Invisible Friends seats? Or <laughs> no. There, I do have George friends. Glass. It's my friend George Glass. <laughs> <laughs> no? No, people do come because they want to see the movie early. So Yeah, Tyler Durden sits next to you. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. That is the, I, you know what? I'm so glad I like white people stuff so I can enjoy that. That is ridiculous. That is the reference maybe of the decade. And I, I'm so happy I knew that, man. Because he looks like movie. he has a Tyler Durden. Oh, he's got to. Uh, yeah. Who's, yeah. Your, who's your Tyler Durden? No. <laughs> it's, next. it's like a lesser Brad Pitt. It's like a. Mm. Um, <laughs> his Tyler Durden is a B actor. It's like. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be Brad Pitt. No, it would, <laughs> it would be a chubby guy that's almost in shape and has, <laughs> has a little more hair than he does. Just but a not, little better me. Just, just be like, uh, me, right. what's his name? Uh, Giamatti. Uh. We need a chubby actor that looks like he could <laughs> be in shape. Paul Giamatti. <laughs> Paul Giamatti. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's Tyler, Tyler Durden. <laughs> 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 it's called Mike Club. <laughs> yeah, I might go. I might. I don't I might. know. I don't, I don't know. Stephen S. from Bayshore has a very good observation <laughs> or or a question. He asks, uh, "Hey, Opa, uh, do they project the movies directly onto Roland's huge, giant, sweaty forehead?" <laughs> oh God! Oh, that is not nice. Oh my God! So, so his answer is he's seen almost every movie that yeah. came out this year. That's. So if you if you good. go four or five movies a week, you're well over 200 movies for the year. Oh my God. Yeah, probably because I God. see basically every movie nominated for an Oscar. What's That's your favorite genre? Um, I like chick flicks. That's. Are you kidding me? No, I like I'll see action movie and chick flicks. What chick flick did you I, like this year? I don't. I, I you know what and. I, all right, let me really try. Hold Did on, like, hold on, hold on. How Stella hey, got hey, her groove hold back. On, hey. No, you being love, no. starring some actor no. from England, no. no one ever heard of. No. Okay. You just, you just uh, named the stereotypical chick flick, okay? Yeah. But seriously, and I'm gonna try, try to name one chick flick that came out this year, Ant. Seriously, it doesn't mean you saw it and and we could point and laugh at you. Right. But I don't think, I don't think I could even name I'm one. Think of a I, trailer I, I won't name the names, corny. but I can name what. There was one, I think. Catherine Zeta Jones was cooking. Oh, no reservation. <laughs> nah, I mean, he knows it. I didn't see that uh, was there a Sandra Bullock uh, chick flick? The Lake movie. That, that the Lake House is like last year or something, year. wasn't it? Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. She was in the. House. Well. well how about how about Melma. something where Cherie Theron got cancer? I'm sure something no, came yeah, out like it's that. The, 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 the Valley of the Liar. <laughs> See, he knows. Yeah. He knows. Wait a minute. So, what was your favorite chick flick of the year? Once. That's my number. Uh, that's one of my favorite movies. Once. Once. And what uh, was that about? Did you just wreck the bit by saying that's your favorite movie of the year? You did, right? Probably. Yeah. That's the whole reason you're sitting there. You yeah. Nope. <laughs> But it's a chick flick. And I couldn't so let it go we, by because I just heard it. it. We it just throw it out. Yeah. Once is your favorite movie of the year. What the hell is that What's about? What's it about? Can we guess once? Can we try to guess? Yeah, let me guess. Once. Once. 
Uh, wow, that's a simple title. It's very hard to kind of build something on that. Someone is dying, uh huh, and they're taking a chance this time to enjoy the life that they they you only get one life oh, and they mm. must enjoy it no that's my number 10 movie of the year no, that, that's a different movie <laughs> that's a different movie but there is a movie like that of course all right let me think once uh it's the story of uh love between two people that only happens once in a lifetime <laughs> no i got the plot here oh do you it's a great movie. <sighs> Sounds good. Oh, please. An unnamed guy. A lonely guy that goes to the movies every day. Is it, <laughs> is it, I remember seeing this preview, and I remember thinking, what a piece of crap this is going <laughs> to be. I swear, now, now that I, I see the stupid cover. An unnamed guy is a doubling guitar singer-songwriter who makes a living by fixing vacuum cleaners in his dad's Hoover repair shop by day and singing and playing for money on the Dublin streets by night. An unnamed girl is a Czech who plays piano, and when she gets a chance, and does odd, and and when who plays piano when she gets a chance, sorry, and does odd jobs by day and takes care of her mom and her daughter by night. Guy meets girl, and they get to know each other as the girl helps the guy to put together a demo disc that he could take to London in hope of landing a musical oh. contract. During the same several day period, the guy and the girl work through their hey. past loves and reveal their budding love for another. <laughs> Through their songs. This movie, should, oh, this, movie, this movie should come with AIDS. It's a, <laughs> it's a mixtape. It's a, it's a film about a mixtape. Can I have a large popcorn with AIDS? <laughs> just you get AIDS. Pump the AIDS movie. on there. I don't want butter. Just AIDS. Can you give, oh. can you give me some extra HIV on oh my popcorn? Oh, my God. Tim, oh. why is that your favorite movie? It's a really good movie. No, it isn't. It is. Why is it good? Well, like, the guy who plays Guy, Glenn Hazard of the Frames, plays the character. Can I ask him this, Obi, please? Hold on, hold on. I want to let him finish this. (laughs) Go ahead. Go ahead. Was this the song? Yeah, that's the song from the movie. But it's a really good movie, though. (laughs) Why? 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 I enjoy it because it has a good story. And And do you cry at movies? Do you cry at movies, any movie? Mm, No, it takes a lot. Do you wish you were the guy or the girl in this film? No. This is what I want to ask. <laughs> Roland, I know Pete, you must have asked him this. I just never got a chance. Ro- are you gay, Roland? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, no. And I don't mean that. I don't, I'm not trying to I, attack. I'm just. <laughs> I do not like any cock whatsoever. Oh. No. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Not a faggot. No. <laughs> wow. Hey. Gee, double dumped. Whoa, All right, whoa, and, I, and, don't, and, and do not get offended What's that I'm asking that. You? It's just you've been asked that before, right? No. Or well, insinuated, right? Why does he not ask that? I don't know. It just, they they ask him that when he goes in to Starbucks to get his coffee. Just, <laughs> how, no dude likes once. Even yeah. when no dude likes anything when it when it says love in Dublin. Like, you just go, nah, I'm not going to see right. that. It has love in Dublin in it. Well, what this a- is the song that they came up with that... One of the songs in the movie. And are you sitting there like getting all teary eyed when this scene comes on? No. Does the whole song play? Uh, yeah. Probably. Holy a- mother of God! You actually sit there and listen to this crap song the whole but, time. Probably but as the credits the roll. The- no, no, it's it during the no movie. during the movie. Oh. It's a musical. Yeah. <sighs> oh no! Wait, it's, it's a, a musical. musical? It's. What do you think of hair? Did you enjoy hair? I didn't see it. It's a chick flick musical. No, well, hair's gay, but this is not. Yeah. Wow. Dude. Dude, musicals wow. suck. Chick flicks suck. You put them yeah, together. Really? It double suck. And this is your favorite movie <laughs> of the that, year? Oh, my God. That is, that right there, you go, it's oh. a chick flick and a musical. You could almost deal with one or the other. And I'm saying almost. Look, you can sit there and go, oh, all right, this will be over soon. But then you put the two together? Are you crazy? Is this better than uh, music and lyrics? Well, music and lyrics is a comedy. The shenanigans. <laughs> the shenanigans. Great. <laughs> shenanigans. All right, what are the, some of the other movies? Uh, we decided to have Roland come in and give us his top ten movies uh, of the year because he's seen every From movie. number one down yeah, to thanks, ten, Roland. I guess. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay, because who would have known? But now that we know Once is your number one, this bit stinks. Oh. Well, well we're, Once we're talk- is your number one we movie this year. Well, we talk I- to guys every morning. I mean, we're, we, well, we love the fact that women are enjoying oh. the show, too, but, but mostly we're talking to guys here. Well, no. Not, not there's not a guy out there that saw once. I'm sure there's somebody. No, the, the Academy people that had to vote. Oh, great! Academy the people. Yeah, but it's a good. And movie. we know what kind of people they are. Oh. <laughs> How was Beowulf? Uh, that one I didn't see. I went to go see there will um, there will be blood instead of that one. 
All right, well, give us your movies. Top ten. Let's go. So start with number one, then? No, oh, well, just or, wherever you want to go. Go okay. down, back to ten. All right, ten is The Savages with uh, Felicia Moore Hoffman and Laura Lenny. <laughs> A what? The Savages. The Savages? <laughs> yeah. Which that? It's, oh, my God. You know what? You should only see movies. He sees movies on streets below the numbers. Like yeah, yeah. Question mark and an exclamation point under <laughs> like people who live underneath the Lancy Street Bridge. You're like, talking that, like those artsy communities. Yeah, the I mean, corner of comma and semicolon. <laughs> <laughs> he, left, he left numbers and words. It, it's like... It, it, who in between, saw Savage? In between shopping for street art, he's uh, going into these obscure <laughs> what movie the theaters. Hell? What is the Savages? This Philip was supposed Seymour. to be a good pick. Philip Seymour Hoffman, right, we well, know him. We know him. The yeah. Lenny, where uh, they get a call where they have to take care of their father. Oh, my God. Because he goes crazy. Right, give, me, give me the whole plot. It's basically, it's like uh, brother I'm, and sister, they're kind of... It's a sister and brother, like sister you said. Brother, they Face the like realities a... of uh, familial responsibility as they begin to care for their ailing father. Oh, oh God. God. Wow. That Why? just sounds horrible, like depressing, Why is boring. That good? Wow. Why was, is that good? Wow. Was really good acting, and then it's a good story the way they did. And this was the 10th. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Six is Spider Man three? I bet it ain't. I bet it ain't. No. Nope. Man. Nope. Uh, hey, no. Wait, wait, wait. Someone is uh, 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 suggesting here. What, what's the star of the movie? Who's the star of the movie again? Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh, now he's saying it right. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Tyler Durden. I can't believe you said Tyler Durden. <laughs> oh, that, that hit me oh. hard. And does the father die in the end? Of course. <sighs> Don't worry about ruining it for anyone. Yeah, no, no one, one listening cares. to this That's show is thing. seeing this. Yeah. No man no cares one. about ruining a movie. I the always go, what happened care. at the end, and I still go see Just it. Just ruin it. The people that care are listening to Fresh right Does now, he die okay? at the end? See it though. It's a good oh, God. No, I don't, don't have to see it. I will never see this. All right. I, ha I have the screen if you want to see it. I uh, will never no. see I don't right. even want a free screening of my house. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I don't want the <laughs> effort of putting the DVD in my player. Uh, number, All right. Number nine is uh, 310 to Yuma. 310 to okay, Yuma? Okay. I was thinking about seeing that Western. What, yeah. what was good about it? A lot of violence or what? It, it was it was some violence, but it was just uh, Russell Crowe and uh, Ben Foster was really good in the film. How about Michael Bales? Uh, Christian, Christian Bale. Uh, he was, Christian he was Bale. really good, uh, good as a farmer. Yeah, Thank as a have. farmer, he's always good in movies. Yeah. Can I ask him a, a quick question? Off well, same topic, mm -hmm. but I need to ask you: your, the best superhero movie of all time? Um, I enjoyed Batman. The one with Christian Bale. Uh, Michael Keaton. Oh my the god! Original oh my the original god. Batman. Are you serious? Oh, oh, I thought he said Batman Returns. I was gonna go. Okay, Rolling. Uh, you can oh. respect that. Yeah, because you, I, that's I, I your favorite, that's the best, well, best one ever. I, superhero. Why are we doing this bit? How about you know the original Superman? About movies? Um, that was good too. He that was good too. Michael, this that was the test. He he didn't. He doesn't even really like that. The, uh, the, that, original. the original Prince Batman. <laughs> wow. All right. Christian Bale Batman might have been the best ever. Yeah. Challenging Superman, the original Superman. All right, what, what's the next movie on your list? Uh, Gone Baby Gone. <laughs> what? Oh, Gone, Gone Baby Gone? Gone Baby. With, ben, with Casey Affleck, Ben Affleck record. Oh, uh, I heard this is a good movie, actually. It's a really good movie. What is this one about? It's where uh, Casey Affleck and Michelle Monaghan, they play... Uh, Private detectives trying to find a four-year-old girl. We're missing. His and, brother, right? His, he directs, right? Ben Affleck, yeah, ben directs. Affleck directs. And Morgan, uh, Morgan Freeman somewhere in there doing that. It's based in uh, Dorchester and Boston, yeah. right? It's really good. Is Morgan Freeman reading okay. the? Uh, is he doing the? Uh, All right. The, 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 the what's the what's the word? The narration? narration. No. Is he narrating him? <laughs> <laughs> That's his next movie. That's the bucket list that he did. Narr a lot of narration. Uh, what's your? Uh, what number uh, you up to? Seven is that? There will seven. Be Where are you? Savage, Seven. you're 310 to Yuma, Gone Baby Gone. Yeah, and then the next No, one. he did another one yeah. in there. Oh, no. once was... Uh, yeah, the one number one. Okay. All right. Um, there Will Be Blood with uh, Daniel Day-Lewis, the Paul Thomas Anderson movie. What is that, what is that there about? There Will Be Blood. There Will Be Blood. It's like uh, Daniel Day-Lewis is um, a silver miner that goes and discovers oil and becomes this rich guy and evil... And Paul Dano from Little Miss Sunshine plays a creepy preacher that's kind of challenging Dan Day Lewis with his oils in this land. How about that that vampire flick uh, when they was in Alaska and the sun went down for oh, six months? Right. Uh, 
um, the Earth Josh right now. Days of darkness or yeah. some Did number of days yeah. of darkness. How was that? It was okay. I, mean, All right, I just right. wanted to know. What's your next one? And then we'll leave the top five for after the break. Oh, Ooh, uh, goody. Number six is super bad. Yeah, Superbad right. was Super great. Bad is real good. I love Superbad. I got that on tape and you know, I want to see it. But You haven't seen yeah. Superbad yet? Yeah, Not the, yet. I just watched Born Ultimatum. Is that it there? Yeah. Good. All right. All right. Well, cool. the Superbad on DVD, they have a, tons of extra, which is hilarious. Cool. Stuff. Where's our copy? <laughs> wow. I get you one. All right. There's something. When we the get back. Blanket. When we get back, Roland's top five movies of the year. Can't wait. Yeah, we can't wait. It's uh, <laughs> Opie and Anthony. We're in the middle of... Uh, Roland giving us the top ten movies of the year. A lot of qu- a lot of questions coming in for Roland as well. <laughs> Lots of questions. <laughs> uh, but we'll go to Charlie Westport. <laughs> Charlie, what's up? Hey, man. Hey, hey Roland, man. I just want to say, you sound like the gay Keebler elf, not the smart one or the goofy stoned one, the one that has gay written on his forehead. <laughs> And I got a quick question for you as well. Don't forget. All right. Uh, what's your favorite sports movie, buddy? Ooh, favorite sports movie. Sports movie. Probably. And don't Billy Blaze Gold. the Glory either. That movie fucking sucked. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me just lay down a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. That's okay. Probably that Bull Durham. Sucked. Bull Durham? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite sports movie? That's probably is. Bull Durham? What about Rage and Bull? What is that? Uh, Kevin Costner. Come on. Tim Robbins. Yeah. Susan Strandon. All right. Thank you, sir. Susan <laughs> Strandon. All right. Uh, I saw Once Not Gay. Loved it. Chris in Jersey, what did you like about this movie Once? Which, by the way, got 98% positive reviews on RottenTomatoes.com. What's that? There were like one or two freaking reviewers across America that didn't like this movie. Which which movie? Once. All right. What did you like about it, Chris? I thought it, for the artistry of the music. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, man, I really thought. <laughs> I was like, wow, really? Okay. It's a chick flick and it's a musical. Oh, my God. That is like two hours of pain. I'd rather get root canal. An hour and a half. Get a root canal. <laughs> oh. All right, let's get uh, to the top five uh, movies of the year uh, for Roland. Uh, and and remember, Roland has seen pretty much every movie that was released this year. Uh, number five is Bor- Born Ultimatum. It's a fun action movie with Matt Damon. Matt Damon. <laughs> what's your favorite? Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite action flick of all time? Probably the Indiana Jones series. That's yeah. that's fair. New one coming out. Uh, yeah. Die Hard is up there. Mm. Right. Lethal Weapons up there. Yeah. All right, number four, Roland. Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> number four, uh, Sweeney Todd. With a, oh, you've seen that already? Seen it, yeah, when with, did that come out? It comes out December 21st. What is Sweeney Todd, man? I, I, it's Johnny Depp. I, it's, based, it's based on a um, it's based on a, a play. The play, yeah. About a, an evil barber, right? Yeah. Revenge Alan, barber? Revenge, or? where Alan Rickman plays a judge who sentenced Johnny Depp to Australia for uh, six years, and he comes back to seek uh, vengeance on everybody. He cuts up people, then puts them in meat pies. With a woman, right? He's like down yeah. with this chick. And yeah. uh, I want to see that movie. It looks good. Tim Burton movie. You got it's, that same Tim Burton um, look. Love Tim Burton movies. It's really good. It's super dark, but bloody. There it's, it is right there. Sweeney Todd. It looks, oh, there's it a looks, commercial right on TV as you're talking about it. There you go. It looks good. So that is really Christmas. good, it's that movie. It's really, really, really good. And that's number three. Yeah, I'm going to go and see <laughs> Johnny it Depp's in that? Yeah. He's uh, awesome. It's got to be a bomb then. No. <laughs> Teasing, of course. Has he ever made a bomb? That friggin' big cash worst, movies. What was the worst? He's made. Movie? He's made a couple of bad ones. What was but, the worst uh, movie Johnny Depp he's ever? Got a made? good track record. I, think he's got, I, I think remember he's his last one. He's a boutique actor, man. He don't yeah. make bad movies, dude. And the guy uh, seems to be able to you know, not fall into a, a part and then have to play that part every single he's time. A, that dude sure. is. I mean, Donnie Brasco, man. He, yeah, he's in great movies. He was. He had a, a crappy role in Platoon. All right, the radio guy. Yeah, dude, he's like uh, he he got he he's a smart dude. Yeah. Well, uh, what what would you say the worst movie? Uh? No, I can't think of a. The, no, that was good though. Was Edward Scissorhands. Edward, Edward Scissorhands was a good movie for the like, time. That was a little that was a little chick flicky though. But if you have to pick one. But it was weird enough where or the secret window. With what about that? Turturro. What was that? Nick oh, of Time. Oh, that John Turturro Turturro movie. One. That's right. Secret window with John. Turturro. Oh, secret window. Stunk. 
Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's go with uh, number okay, two. We just needed oh, a num- stinker oh, from oh, him. Number three is uh, Juno with uh, Ellen Page and Michael Sarah. The hell's that about? It's an independent Ugh. movie. It's uh, where Ellen Page get and Michael Sarah hook up. They get pregnant. Benny and June. Benny and June. Ugh. <laughs> That had a good soundtrack. Thank you. All right, go ahead. What about that movie where the sunshine went out? Or the sun was going out and they had to restart the sun? <laughs> <laughs> Truman Show? No, nah, the, the sun- Truman, Truman Show. Show. <laughs> no, <laughs> the sun, it was like a space crew had to go restart the sun. It, it was, um, come on, you, it was a... You know, it, they I, don't, a, I don't know. The I'm sun t- was going out and they sent a space uh-huh. crew up. To oh. re- relight it. it. Yeah, to re- oh, the it was that Bruce Mil- uh, Bruce Willis movie. No, that was the <laughs> one with the asteroid <laughs> Armageddon. Uh, oh man. Oh, is that uh, that Will Smith movie? No, no, that was the uh, Independence Day. <laughs> hey, uh, what's Juno about? It's where uh, Michael you know? Sarah and Ellen Page. <laughs> <laughs> the characters are they get um she get they're in high school and she gets pregnant after they hook up and it's like the coming of age like oh coming of, what age. Is coming of age I hate coming of age oh, like she, I don't I don't see coming of age flex. It's a coming of age means. movie well, um, I, I What mean, does that mean? <laughs> what is yeah. coming of age? Well, Ivan Ryman's son directs it. He directed uh, Thank You for Smoking. He did this one. Bye. Coming of age, really and any coming, movie, coming of AIDS, and any <laughs> movie that <laughs> watching those crappy movies, and any movie that has in a small town. Ah! Yeah. So what happens to this pregnancy? Yeah, see the movie. Kick in no, the stomach. we're not going to see these movies. This I'm not. Is... Juno is awesome. I'm not going to give away the indie. Uh, thank you, Than will though. <laughs> go ahead, Than. It's a good movie. Sorry. Are you so? Oh Juno? no! Yeah. Did you go together? No, no. I uh, oh. brought a woman. Oh wow. At least uh, the appearance of being straight rolled. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> watch out, he's going to throw out more things that'll get dumped out of. <laughs> yeah, to show his and watch Roland's to show that potty he's a, mouth. Roll likes to show that he's a man. Yeah. He mans Arr. it up with some curses. <laughs> some, uh, <laughs> I'll kick your butt. <laughs> yeah. Well, so what you know about, and does the baby, just tell us what happens. No. Uh, she loses the baby, they both die. No, that would be awesome, though. Yeah. Um, it's just, she has the baby. It's it's pretty. Uh, What's, uh, what makes it a good movie, though? It's just the dialogue's really good. So it's, it's a, a little too sn- funny, knocked up. No, it is funny. Yeah. It's just oh, uh, it's a comedy. It is yeah. a comedy. Where she wants to put the baby up for adoption. The, the two yuppie couples, with Jason Bateman and Jennifer Garner, plays yeah. the couple. Great. Mm-hmm. Um, different. What's your favorite scary movie of all time? Scary oh. movie. Oh, yeah. Here we go. This is interesting. Hmm. <laughs> something where <laughs> uh, <laughs> something where a guy kisses a woman. <laughs> <laughs> He runs out of the theater. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Roland. My, uh, uh, his greatest fear. My scariest movie, uh, Pretty Woman. Halloween is mine. Probably the, yeah. when I was yeah. a kid, I saw the Nightmare on Elm Street. So that scared me. Yeah. All right. No, hey, the scariest uh, movie was uh, for me was The Ring. The Ring? That's too recent. How about The Exorcist or something? You've- nah, no, nah, because you go back and you look now and it's not as scary. But that crap, like the ring and stuff, that, that, that's like... You, mm, you're, you know, mm. you fell for... You t- what is it? Took the bait? You, I, you, I bought the you hype. At the bit. The, the little kids don't scare me. No, Little creepy kids are over. It, the Shining, they scared me. Those two little girls in the hallway. It's over. Creepy children yeah. are done. The, the weird... You could just smack them. Weird kids that are moving funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pete is doing they're spider- moving a little too faster than... Doing spider They're moving walks. faster than they should be. They're on the wall. Any, any kid doing a spider walk up a wall. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm done. Oh, Lord. Here come a little creepy kid. Uh-huh. Don't give me, a, don't give me a, a scary kid under the bed. I'm done That's over that crap. creepy kids. They don't scare me anymore. Yeah. No creepy children. Hey, the movie's called Sunshine. Did we tell the people that... Sunshine. So it's just called Sunshine. Sunshine, Sunshine, and the sun's yeah. going out, and they have to you like. Didn't see that movie ever, then. Who's the star in that one? Um, the star. Who's I'm, the big star? I'm going to go with um, Sylvester Stallone. No. <laughs> oh, did you see his face? <laughs> Rambo. Rambo. Wow, my. He looks. He looks like Joan Rivers. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's really uh, gone the. His face is the yeah, cosmetic the surgery route. Something now. But, but what in God's name? When did he get old? I just turned around. He's yeah, old. and then he got old. 
He That's what happens. He wasn't old. He just a cliffhanger, and then I looked. I saw cliffhanger. <laughs> I like. And then I looked around, and I'm like, wait a minute, Stallone is he old. He got all old. And he he was doing movies that was going straight to v, uh, DVD. Yeah. I was like, what did when did he become What happened to Sly? Yeah, he had a rough decade. So. Was it a decade? Uh, probably. Maybe How do they allow more. Kevin Costner to continue? Like, does he? When do when does do we really? say it's over? It's Kevin Costner like. Kevin Costner makes his own had, movies. Well, Kevin, Mr. Brooks. Kevin uh, Costner started losing his hair at 25, and he's been the same age since. <laughs> Guy hasn't aged a, a day in, in 20 what years. What did you think of Mr. Brooks? I enjoyed it. It was, it was a, a good, good suspense. Yeah. A lot of people didn't like that movie. And then I enjoyed it. It's a good suspense. Yeah. Throughout these All right, what's uh, number two? Did uh, you like Pitch Black? Uh, of course he didn't. The movie was great. Why would you even ask that? The movie was great. It was a great film yeah. for what it was. Yeah, I like, I like yeah. Second movie is uh, No Country for Old Men. I want to see that movie. Everyone's that, saying how great that. And movie what is. is it about exactly? It's it's like um, Harvey and Bardone plays a hitman who uses um, like a cow gun to kill people. And yeah, the pneumatic like cow killing thing What's that they cow, psh, they gun. shoot a bolt into a cow's head like a big metal thing out of this hydraulic pneumatic like. Psh, I love air the Coen bro Coen Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. really think they make the yeah, pretty twisted twice though because it's just see like little. So what is it about? About that's it? Yeah, a, a, well, a, a killer who kills can, you with a cow gun. Can I read the plot outline? I read it because this is another thing I hate when they describe movies. Violence and mayhem ensue. Mayhem ensue. <laughs> okay. I just hate when they say ensue. Well, Josh Brolin's in it. He's really good in this one. What is it? What is it? They're hunters. The they what stumble the upon money, like a um, dead bodies, and yeah, it's. It, but the movie has no music in it, though. Is it, it out now? It's out now. But I don't want to give out too much, though. It's really good. But though. what's the plot other than um, it, basically really quick? Hunters stumble upon some dead bodies, a stash of heroin, and more than two million in cash. Oh, you wrecked it. And then, uh, <laughs> and then the uh, violence and mayhem ensue. Ensue after that. Yes. Is it their best movie or is Fargo it's, better? Uh, it's up there with Fargo. Though. Fargo. Miller's Crossing is it better Fargo's than Miller's Crossing? Best. Um, almost. I think. I'm cooperating really here. <laughs> it's, 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 All right. And your it's, number one. It's a different and your number one movie's uh, once. once. It's yeah. really good. Oh my God, Jerry Lundergaard. <laughs> <laughs> I love Jerry. Fargo is a great Jerry Fargo Lundergaard great movies, man. God, they make good movies. <laughs> Hold on, Ant's ready to. I'm cooperating here. This is where Ant does his Fargo. Okay, lines. darn it, I'll go out and count them. <laughs> <laughs> right here in Brainerd. Right here, I thought we'd take care of it right here in Brainerd. You know, right here in Brainerd. <laughs> He's got the fifty <laughs> hanging out of his wallet. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, he looks like a nice enough fella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll fax those numbers right over. No, okay, okay send them over. I'll send them right over. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, he was like uh, a skimming money off of the uh, loan company. And that's why he needed the money. Yeah. What a great movie that was. Oh, it's just... Yeah, I could watch that every time it's and on. And that's the type of movie I don't watch. Yeah. And that's like, I'm into that movie. Like, that, that's, that's like... That's fantastic. I feel like, that dumb movie, but I, oh, I'm into that film. Oh, jeez. Oh. And then when he's on... No need to get fun. snippy or... No need to get snippy here. When he's trying to rehearse. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's Jerry. Oh, something awful's happened. Oh, jeez. Oh. He hello, Wade. It's Jerry. Yeah. It's your daughter, Oh, something awful's happened. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, uh, I got to go to Hector and Jerry. Jeez. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> stupid me. Stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid. Hey, uh, William H Macy rolls in now. You didn't even need. Well, I'm glad you said once as a as a number one because if you had said it as a surprise, you'd be like, ah, what? Yeah. Let's go to Hector in Connecticut. Hector. Hey, uh, Roland. I'm out of the closet with you, you silly bastard. <laughs> and I uh, want to—I want to ask you if you got mail is your favorite. Uh, is your favorite uh, Tom Hanks movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite Tom Hanks movie? Oh, uh, well, Forrest Gump. No, I like Sleepless in Seattle. <laughs> 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 Not that, no, how about the AIDS movie? Combine them both. The A's movie. Sleepless in Philadelphia. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've never seen Sleepless in Seattle. Ever. I think I've seen it. It's really good. I got it. Yeah. It, it's, mm. it's all right. Best Tom Hanks movies when he was uh, mm. saving Private Ryan, I would say. Yeah, that's a good one. That's your he was really good in that. 
Bachelor party is your favorite Tom no, no, Hanks movie? Oh my that. god! That's so funny. That's I liked I liked him in Bosom Buddies. Yeah, <laughs> best Denzel movie. Ooh, um, hmm, the best one, Crimson Tide. Uh, that was pretty good. That's good. Though. I'm trying to think of the last one. There's one before. Yeah. All okay. I think about now hey. is that finger. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Is Holy that Denzel? <laughs> yeah, the finger that's crooked. I'm thinking, wait a minute. Yeah. That better not be Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> it, it Roland, your favorite uh, buddy movie? A buddy movie? Um, probably like Lethal Weapon. Midnight Run? Midnight Run was good. Midnight was Run's funny. the best comedy ever made. That was funny. Yeah. All right, best definitely. comedy. Best comedy. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, hmm. I don't know. I just hate the fact that your taste for comedy kind of changes over the years. Not really your taste, but like well, the way... 48 Hours used to be... 48 Hours so was, times, yeah. You know. Just the When I first saw that, I was like, this is the greatest movie ever. And you watch it now, and you're like, yeah, okay. Animal House. That Animal House, same thing. It was like... There. Blues the Brothers. I used to love yep. Jerk. Like, I'm not a big fan of this new thing that's out, this new comedy. Uh, this... Superman? This stuff, yeah. yeah, this new thing where we're supposed to be laughing at it, it does nothing for me. Yeah. Knocked up. So I, I, it, I, just I don't really like, mm. I didn't like Knocked Up that it much. Got, like, it was I all right. I don't see Superbad, but I already know I'm not going to like it, but I'm going I'm to watch it because everybody else. You know why Superbad's good? The movie itself is whatever, but the guys are generally just, you can tell they're funny people. Right, okay. And that's why I really like that movie. You could, They're just funny in this movie. I don't even really, I, can't, I couldn't even really tell you what the movie's about. Really, high school kids, blah blah blah, getting ready, <laughs> blah blah blah, getting ready to graduate and go to college. It's been done a million times, but these guys are just so funny in the movie. They're how about funny this, people. How about this one with Morgan Freeman and uh, Jack Nicholson? Oh, I saw that. The bucket list. What is that about? It's where they're dying of cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds hysterical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans ensue. They jump out planes. And yeah, yeah. Also, oh, they decide they're gonna like push to that's, the edge. That's and... a bucket list where they make th things a list before they die. What you do? Uh, do they die at the end? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They All do. Right. You why'd ruined you tell, it. Why'd you tell us that? Yeah. One? Why'd you? Jeez. Yeah, but 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 a we, mainstream <laughs> movie that people will see. Yeah, but, but we can't, you know we can't wait to see once to see once. what happens. Guys, the great Kevin Smith is on our phone. Oh, oh good, Kevin. Hey. Hi, Kev. Uh, and finally, Kevin, the, ob the obvious one. Best uh, film of the year. Um, I haven't seen them all yet, but I mean, I I'm so far. Kind of composing my list. And, and um, I really like, did you see this Irish movie called Once? No. <laughs> oh, oh, well, the you know, Ro Roland, you have Roland no has, funny that is. <laughs> has picked that as his favorite movie, and we just lambasted him. It's All of us a, idiots a, who haven't my, seen it. It's in my top ten. It's a good fucking flick, man. We made fun of it because it's a chick flick meets a musical. It, it kind of is in a weird way, but it's really quite touching and very moving. Oh, my God, I man. Like we that. made so like much the, fun of Roland. Um, 